I'm happy that we get to do a wine tasting today, Janice. We get to enjoy other cultures and do fun things together. Now, I know you enjoy fixing air conditioners, but nobody wants to do it down in Texas in the middle of July. I'm happy to taste wine with you, Jeffrey. Now, this wine right here is called a Susan Boyal. It's actually an Irish wine, and the grapes are stomped by the fattest, ugliest women in the town, and it creates a thickness, as you can see. Now, when you look at this wine, you can smell it first, because when you sip it, you're good. Janice, what the hell are you doing? Big gulp. Janice, this isn't a time for a big gulp. I got a perfectly good Susan Boyal over here. It's too fruity, Jeffrey. Well, look who you married, Janice. You said it, not me. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Janice Potts. And I'm Jeffrey Potts, and we're, we're the, the Potts. Potts. I actually took her last name after we got married. And when Jeffrey moved in, I took his ties, suspenders, and mustache cream. We've been together for about seven years, but as of late, it feels like something's missing. So we decided to seek professional help. I see. So we're here to talk about intimacy. Physical connections are a big part of that. When was the last time you guys were physical together? Well, we tried to build a deck with one another. Set the Hana a unit. Damn it, Jeffrey, I don't speak Swedish. Well, actually, I built the deck. Well, she says she built a deck and she ended up building a pool. I wanted to learn how to backstroke. Okay. Do you guys do any physical activities together? Well, back in 92 at the Summer Olympics in Barcelona, we did split a seltzer water. She's kind of fizzy. Bubbles. Like a lot. <laughs> she wouldn't stop Dutch ovening me in the hotel room. Oh, and together we take care of our pet Sadie. How about in a more sexual physicality? I haven't gotten around to it yet. I see. Is there some way you are getting a physical outlet? Oh, at the, the gym. gym. I love oh, the gym. Gosh, the best place ever. So I go there all the much. time. It's I like go every single day. I love it. Breakfast, do. lunch, and like, dinner. Oh, you guys go to the gym together. Oh, no, absolutely not. I mean, could you possibly imagine? No. I mean, it would just never work out. We wouldn't have the time. The it would just be absolutely I really horrible. Just, I mean, I like who would ever want to go with her? She's going to be by herself and leave her by herself. Why don't you tell me more about the gym? And how does it feel when you're physical with your trainers? And does this inspire feelings of romance? Do you feel a burn? I feel something. Yeah! Come on! Give me three more! One, <laughs> two, three! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <sighs> Sometimes we have certain aspects of our lives that become repressed for reasons known and unknown. Do you guys think that your physical intimate moments that you've had with your personal trainer and yoga instructor have brought up repressed aspects of your sexuality? I think she was calling us fat. No one does she know? She's a cat person for God's sake. I got all this pent up energy. I gotta hit the gym. Psst. 